pike in every canal, isn't there? Is there? Confused. Good morning, everybody. Welcome again to FFT. Where are you finding me today? Well, I'm back on the Lancaster Canal. I'm a little bit further south than I was last week. Um, but I managed to get a bit of a day out. Uh, possibly able to fish a little bit into darkness. Just turned up to where I fancied. Uh, it's looking very busy. There's quite a lot of dog walkers about. And the first thing I've spotted is there a cormorant. It's actually in that like the bowl of where I fancy fishing. So... It's a good sign, I suppose, because it means there's some fish here. Uh, I hope it doesn't disturb the fishing too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out of the car, get wrapped up, because it's absolutely Baltic out there. Uh, get set up and get a bait out there. And um, we'll have a run through tactics, nothing much different than there were last week. And I'll show you the location. Anyway, fingers crossed, I may be able to snare a fish or two today. So this is where we are. As you can see, it's a nice wide stretch. Opens out to another bowl down there. And if I've ever seen a bit of canal that's screaming out pike, it's this one. Yeah, definitely, definitely uh, looking forward to today. I think we could be in with a good shout here. I think I found the pikiest looking part of the canal. But I also think I found the busiest part of the canal. Um, it's just unbelievable foot traffic. Um, obviously you can't complain because that's what a lot of people use this canal for and I'm sure they use it daily so I can't certainly complain. Uh, the banks are quite tight as well down this stretch. It's got a pathway and there's no grass, no grass verge to the water. Um, so I think it's going to be a case of rucksack on the back I'm just going to drop my float in in some, some areas, give it five or so minutes in each bit. And then I'm going to settle down back in the actual original bowl where I, where I came to first. What I've actually done, I've walked up the bank to, to where I wanted to start to walk back to that area. Um, so yeah, but the weather is cold, windy, overcast, absolutely perfect. Um, can't complain about that. As I said, I've seen a cormorant this morning, so silverfish in the area. Boats moored, reeds, lots of weed as well, still. Um, so all the signs are good. It's just whether there's any fish here. But um, I'm hoping to find out. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick this up. Um, but I don't know if you can see the sort of break in the water. I'm trying to get my finger on it. Sort of just, just there, like a line. There's a... Uh, just sort of there, like that break in the water there. That's actually Canadian pond weed, which you know for this time of year still has not died back. Um, perfect holding place for a pike, so I've got my float tight up to that. I'm just gonna just gonna work this line uh, for about 40 minutes maybe, like 10 minutes in each bit. Start at the right, end up in the left, and I'm gonna make my way further down. Just got my float out there, just tied up against the low line weed at the back. Uh, I feel that if I don't get a pike from this area, I don't think I'm ever going to get a pike out of this canal. It just looks prime. Uh, I would like to apologise if there's any wind noise as well. I've uh, stupidly left my microphone in the kitchen, which was in my pocket from the last session. So if there is any wind noise, I do apologise. I've just had an interesting chat with the uh, guy who lives on that on that barge just there to my right of me. He said he's more bored up here most of the year and he assures me that there are pike in here. He said he's seen quite a few come out over the past year. He said some are decent size as well. Um, which which is he's building my hopes up a little bit to be fair. Because as I said it looked prime. Uh, so now the weather's perfect. There's definitely fish in here, so I've got no excuses. Oh, that's all for a fish.
uh, one of my fishing buddies was out at the weekend. Uh, he tried a day session on the uh, Leeds Liverpool and he managed two fish, a little jack pike and a lovely, lovely dark looking pike. It was like 13 something. Um, I'll stick a picture up actually. It's a really nice fish. But it does prove that there are still pike in the canals. Whether or not there's pike in this canal, I don't know. There's pike in every canal, isn't there? Is there? Confused. No, I've just made my way just round the corner where I was. Between these two boats here. There's a house there with a bit of a pontoon. And I've just put my float just to start with, just where is it? Where are you? There you are, just there. Looks like a pretty decent decent area to have a go at. If you ever wanted a sign to show that people fish here for pike, I think I've just found it. I'm just going to draw your attention to this wire. And I'm going to zoom in. That there is a dead bait. quite sure how they got the cast up there <laughs> um, but there's definitely dead bait hanging up there mm. top angle in that so I've just punched the bait out and I don't know if you can see that float which is just behind just below where the red stripe of the boat is on the end of the red stripe and the bait flung almost underneath the boat it's absolutely primed I'm going to give it there for another 10 minutes, then I will look to have a walk a little bit further down to where those trees are there. So I've just made the move just from down where I was there, just along the stretch here, there's loads of overhanging trees. And I don't know if you can see that, but my floor is just there. Just swung one just over that overhanging tree there. Uh, give this a good 20 minutes here. See if we can find any fish. I've just seen a silver fish jump. That's the first fish I've seen in the Lancaster Canal. So what I've just done there, uh, you'll see with a bank stick, put the rod tip high in the air, reason being, uh, there's quite a lot of crap coming through, 
uh, like the surface weed that's just drifting. So I just stuck the rod tip up in the air just to get the, the line out of the water. So you now this, this, this line from the tip of the rod, it goes directly to the float. So anything that's coming down, down the canal, any crap, it's not going to pick that line up. So I've just moved it back down to the main basin now. Uh, probably got about an hour left, I reckon. Uh, temperature's dropped considerably, it's pretty cold. Um, quite a surprise to be fair. You know, I've been here, I've spent the day here to be, and I've, I've worked a lot of swims, covered a lot of ground and you'd expect to at least have some kind of pickup from even just like a jack pike but there's nothing, nothing at all. I've not been fishing bad, I've been fishing correctly. Uh, don't know. But anyway, as I said, I've got about an hour left so probably made my final move. I've just come in between two barges and put my float out to the to the far reeds. Um, probably won't move again today. I'm sort of settled in now, I think, for the last hour. Um, and hopefully something something will come along and make make the session. But we shall see. Well, you can probably hear that the, the weather's taken a turn. <laughs> it's absolutely chucking it down. Um, I'm pretty much coming to the end of the day as well now, so I think this is going to be the last bit of filming. Uh, all in all, can I say, uh, not a nothing. Very, very surprised. I mean, even even to take from a jack pipe, you'd, you'd expect from a canal, especially when you've been here all day. Uh, starting to consider maybe that there are no fish in here. Um, but. I suppose it's, it's, it's it beats spending the day at home. You know, I've been on the bank, uh, and you can't catch while sat on your couch. That's a fact. But anyway, uh, would I give this this place another try? Mm, possibly. Might come back when it when it depths of winter, maybe when January kicks in, maybe. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'll see. But um, as always, if you've enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, comment in the bottom, and as always, if you're feeling really generous hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'll see you all again. Thanks for watching.